In other news, due diligence completed in preparing proposals for draft legislation governing local funeral homes in line with what's taking place throughout the region and the UK. It's now just a wait and see in terms of what lawmakers make of it, according to president of the Bahamas Funeral Directors Association, Kirsch Ferguson. As far as we understand, the delay is due in part to other pressing matters that the government needed to address. Uh, we can't say if they have been addressed, but the legislation in and of itself, it allows the industry to be um, operated by persons who are professionally trained and certified to perform mortuary services and conduct funeral services. So what we are anticipating to be done at this point is for the government to come back to us once again and say beyond what is said at, uh, from the speech from the throne is that we are now in a position to move forward and bring legislation by XYZ date. Uh, as far as we know, it was supposed to be completed during this legislative year. Ferguson says the association has applied pressure on the government, but it also has adopted a sensible approach. To be honest, we did consider taking some drastic action, but we must be mindful that we are the custodians of funeral services in this country. So whatever uh, action we wish or would have wanted to take, we had to pull back because it would have been a disservice to the general public uh, if we were to go such a route and that will mean not conducting funeral services or refraining from accepting bodies uh, uh, that would be a challenge straight across the board and an insult to the Bahamian public to do that to do that hi there i'm corval pyfer thank you for watching our youtube page be sure to like comment and subscribe for all things said an ass